Hello, Fallen Dragonite here again. Today we will be doing another Transformers review. Yeah, I've kind of been procrastinating on these things and I just need to get these cranked out quickly, especially considering that we have a third uh, War for Cybertron uh, series that's going to be coming out soon. So I might as well get started on this guy from the first series, Siege. And this is Decepticon Spinister. Spinister is a interesting design because he's not really well known in the usual Transformers media, but he was really well known in the comics in the UK. He had some cameos in the uh, American version, yeah. and he did also play a prominent role in the IDW comics. He was a kind of... A surgical savant if I recall in the IDW's although he's not really intelligent in other ways you can see he is kind of this futuristic attack helicopter with various shades of purple and blue and uh, not sure what to call that I mean it's kind of a pinkish purple there's so many different shades I don't remember what it's supposed to be there's also some silver here course oh sorry my fingers in the way rotors spin nice and freely he also has the landing gear right here on the bottom but you can see it, if it's just a flat surface you can get him to stand perfectly but on carpets and whatnot he'll just lean off to the side which of course is where his weapons come in each one different color you can see these are these are more like lasers and these are more like chain guns. So you just pop them in to the ports right here. And you'll stand fairly decently. The pegs in the guns actually act as stabilizers, so he's not gonna tip over. Now then we're gonna take these off for transformation, but before I do, you may have noticed something. He has another cockpit underneath his uh, underneath his vehicle mode, which is just exactly the same, just mirrored as the cockpit up here. This is more for the transformation than anything, because there's really no reason this should be here other than for robot mode. It just looks weird that he has a second cockpit underneath his vehicle. So his transformation is actually fairly interesting. So we gotta untab these tab these and they go opposite directions because you can probably tell what these are supposed to be we fold this out and as we do there's a panel right here that's supposed to fold out getting this folded in for vehicle mode is kind of a pain in the butt but it just plugs in there we unplug the toe rotate it like so, so it's pointing forward. Same to the other side, we pull that out, fold in the panel, fold in the thing there, fold, pop, fold, done, fold. And I seem to have this on backwards. It's kind of hard to actually see because there's a screw. So sometimes I actually have his legs backwards as I'm transforming him, but that's kind of the nature of the beast. So we rotate this around like so. Unpeg his arms and rotate them. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be this way. Sorry. Again, it's kind of hard to determine exactly what way the legs are supposed to go while you're transforming him. So we take the torso. You have to unpeg it like so, fold up like this. And this is the interesting part. This whole assembly folds back, folds in half. And as we fold, it becomes his torso. And then we just plug that in and clip that into place. And as you can see, that little notch from the tail fin actually locks the rotors in place. So it's not gonna move too well. So, there we have Spinister in his robot mode, and I really like the transformation. It is 
very nice, very clean, and yeah, he has two helicopter cockpits for legs. This is actually a G1 uh, feature because the cockpit in the original G1 split in half to make his feet, whereas they just mirrored them in order to make his feet like so. Now for size comparison, here he is next to Six Shot, who is another Deluxe class. And here he is next to Voyager Prime. Oh, sorry, bumped the camera. Anyway, his guns, of course, go into his hands like so. As you can see, they're hollowed out so they fit over his fists like so. You could try to plug it into his wrist, but there's not enough clearance. You have to plug it in backwards in order to have enough clearance to actually have it stay. And of course, he does have the siege ports here, here, one on each leg. And there are, oh, excuse me, there are two on his back, but you have to fold his rotors the opposite way in order to access them. They're kind of superfluous. Sorry, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. I'm trying to do this on the fly here. As for our, t yeah, as I said, those two ports can't really be reached. Even if you fold these back, there's very little you can actually plug into those ports. As for articulation, universal shoulder, ball jointed head, double jointed elbow due to transformation, wrist swivel, universal hips, with nice movement, thigh swivel, little over 90 degree bend at the knee, and double joint in the ankle, mostly for the transformation. As for these. These are actually based off of his target masters because he was a target master in G1. Sadly, these don't transform and only one of the target masters was available at retail. The other one was in an Amazon exclusive box that I believe it was with Thundercracker. So, uh, was it Skywarp? I forget which it was, but the guns can be docked together like the original G1 target masters and you can do a wield it like so. And you can do this with Target Masters. I do not, oh, I mean, uh, uh, what do they call them in the uh, Siege? I believe it was like Weaponizers or something, or, yeah, well, anyway, there is a port underneath the weapon for each of them. It can make them plug together. I do not have one, no, oh, excuse me. I do not have one on hand right now because I don't have two of them. I only have one and he's currently plugged into my uh, Siege Megatron. But you can link them together just like this. And I'm pretty sure you can also link them to these guns too. But he is a very nice, if oddly colored, Decepticon. And I really do enjoy his transformation and he has enough articulation to actually get the job done. Anyway, that is my review of Siege Spinister, and I hope to see you guys again next video. Bye!